Now I've been experimenting. And the first thing I did, I cut a piece of uh, that eye off that is about the width of the spacer. And that will need a slight bit of, uh, probably file that round a bit more and make a bit more gap there. But, so I did that about the same size you see just cut a piece off and quickly sanded it and uh, first of all I carefully marked it out and I've got a very small centre drill and I did this yesterday and I thought I'll just try um, that welding rod and this On this plastic now I know I melted that end with the blow lamp however when I ran it um, I told this the other day but the video was too long I have to bin it um, that cardboard gasket was the one that I ran for quite a while and if you look, it, I was expecting it to burn through straight away. And even that that's inside, I'm fairly sure you can see, you know, it's not even, not really burnt it much. So we're not running long and it's not getting that hot. So that's one thing to tell you. So I'm wondering, because all I've got to do first, by the way, I, uh, so I had, just in case it was a fluke, I re-drilled some more holes today. Of course I bust the little drill off in there because I didn't have any lube on, but that's not a problem. You know, I was being careful. I speeded the drill up a bit and, you know. So anyway, I drilled two more holes and I wasn't sure if that was big enough. So I've had a look in me Dremel box and I found a very small cutter and managed to enlarge that hole a bit and uh, so we'll just set this up and see what you think because now that the, the thing is yes it'll melt and it'll fail in time of course but will it last long enough you know because I actually think it's going to be better to do that if it works than because that's too big on this plug and I've had a look at that plug um, I am going to have to take quite a bit off plus they're going quite tightly so they shouldn't blow out right so what we'll do I'll put it on here like that somewhere and uh, a bit further maybe and put the light out I'll look on the camera I can put all the lights out to show you if necessary however if I put the plug lead on there and spin that round I'm trying to do it yes you can see it we have actually got a spark right now I'll put it on the other one because uh, if the gap wasn't big enough I can increase it with me Dremel on the thing so let's see if it's contacting on that one yeah just as you can see we do actually have a spark on there now I don't I'm still a bit doubtful that this will work to be honest but we'll see won't we I think it's worth having a go and uh, 
seeing if we can drill a hole just see if we can drill a hole through there I'm zoomed in did that yesterday if we can drill a hole through there probably at a slight angle and just file that flat a bit and see if we can get a spark in there and if I mess up on this well of course I've got another side because to be perfectly honest I don't want to be making another space or if at all possible it's too much filing um, I mean even if it didn't come dead central and one side just about come out it wouldn't matter because of course the head holds it in doesn't it but as I say what what's uh, oh I, I should have done this earlier shouldn't I? I've got the plug there it's all wetted up um, so you know will it work with a spark plug there and is the spark cut be enough well, until we try it, we don't know. <laughs> there you are. So, you know, I'm not sure, as I say. But I think that's the next step. And then I can put the plug lead on it. I can start it up and just warm it up and get it running. And then stop it and put the plug lead on here before we do any more. And just see if it starts. I think that... Because if it doesn't start like that, well, there's not much point carrying on. Or I might. Um, I don't know if I've got any HT lead, actually. I, I haven't had a look yet. I don't need very much, do I? A bit of thick wire will do for this. For now, you know, just to, to get us going. Because I'm not, I don't want to cut this plug lead yet. Because I'm hoping to uh, leave that bit standard. And rather than cut it and join it there, I think it would be better. It will have a piece coming out. I can leave it as long as I like, can't I? And it will be about there, like that. And I think it would be better if I can make something that will go on there quite tight right because then I can bring the plug lead to it fasten it to the plug lead like that and then get another piece of HT lead to go from here up to the spark plug that's what I think that'll be the best but I don't know Anyway, there you are, so it's, um, you know, it's encouraging that I've made a spark plug, isn't it? You know, it's encouraging, but uh, it's blooming discouraging if it'll work or not. Anyway, I've done that. Also, I've had a clean up of this cover. And I took the recoil off. And I spent well a good hour or more on it. I'm only going to rub that inside. As I said, I'm, you know, the whole idea is we're not. As I say, I'm not doing a full resto bullshit job. You know, in fact, I got a bit carried away doing the outside of this. So, uh, and of course, because the head is three sixteenths higher, I'm going to have to hammer that out, aren't I? You know make the top a bit taller or do something with it anyway and the other thing is that's got a nice circle there so if I cut that out um, the shaft of the engine will have a hole won't it where I can put my socket in an electric start so that should work but it's I mean, cutting holes in tough. Never had anything to cut it properly in that, so I don't know. We'll have a go at that anyway. So, you know, that's the first bit of the job done. But like I say, I'm, I'm not. I won't leave it absolutely like that in there. As you can see, it's not. Uh, 
it's still there but I've done roughly inside now also I've got my mate Steve he when we were doing the boat oh I sold it what four or five years ago and about eight years ago it'll be something like that so that's two hang on 2003 plus five is 2008 so about 2011 or 12. Anyway, in 2008, he gave me these tins of old paint, and that says brown, but it's ready colour, it's rusty colour. They're really old. Need stirring up for a week, you know, they're all set in the bottom, but should get enough just to daub some round the inside of here, I think. Rather than trying to... Anyway, that's one thing I'm going to try, as I say. A little bit more cleaning up in there but not a lot anyway this has actually worked I was a bit surprised it has and we have got a spark but uh, if it been where it is is it going to be big enough to keep it going that's the the next thing so we're going to have to have a play with that in a day or two aren't we and see how we go on right that's all I've got to tell you at the moment it's been better weather today by the way uh, sun's been out and it's quite well, it's quite a bit wet apparently but a bit milder for a few days so you know it means I can probably get out and probably just try spraying the cover or something like that yeah um, but there was something else though just at the end there was something I'll tell you oh yeah that's it now looking at this spark I'm not 100% sure about this coil because it seems to give a good spark on the plug when you first do it but then it seems to die a bit and so uh, it was enough to run it, you've seen it running but it's just another slight concern that's all I've got a well I can get an electronic one because uh, you probably know anyone most people know it's a straight swap you can put an electronic one on and just cut that wire and you've got a kill switch wire that's it you know I've got one downstairs on the other end you know I can always steal that one can't I if, I, if I'm stuck just to try it I need to put a switch on it means dismantling all that you see and of course if it comes off it'll never go back on but uh, does it matter we don't use it much right there you go nice little update for you i think on a bit of progress we'll see what happens